pursuant to Internal Revenue Service guidance, be advised that any federal tax advice contained in this program is not intended to be used and it cannot be used by any person or entity for the purpose of avoiding any tax penalties that may be imposed by the Internal Revenue Service or any other U.S. federal taxing authority or agency or promoting, marketing, or recommending to another party any transaction or matter addressed in this show. The opinions expressed by the host and the guests are their own and may not be used as authoritative advice. Any use of this material without the written consent of the host is strictly prohibited. I am your host, Attorney Stephen Leahy. There's that song again, Taxman. Love that song. Uh, what are we going to talk about this segment, Jim? Well, you know, Steve, uh, this is the listener question segment. And uh, last week, we prom- we said we were going to talk about the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. And, and we didn't. And we did not. So uh, what we're going to, so someone called and said, hey, you didn't talk about the Listener Bill of Rights. So that was written in there. So what the listeners gonna... don't have a bill of rights, Jim. It's the oh, taxpayer, oh, taxpayer bill. <laughs> the, the listeners do. <laughs> we care about the listeners. I do, but they, they're all taxpayers. But I'm not writing any bill of rights for them. No, no, <laughs> they're all taxpayers. They have the right to listen every Sunday That's at right. five o'clock. At five o'clock, I'm <laughs> the answer. AM five sixty, the answer. That's so anyway, we we did we did uh, we did. Oh, they also have a right to call me, and they can call me at three one two six six four. Six six four nine silly segues, <laughs> or they can, or they can visit my website at chicagotaxteam.com. dot com. So those are your rights. And so, all right, so let's get to these taxpayer bill of rights so that we can get to them because we we've uh, mentioned them a couple times today. Okay, so the taxpayer bill of rights on last last week or maybe it's two weeks ago mm-hmm. now that they were talking about uh, the the IRS issued the taxpayer bill of rights and there's a taxpayer advocate now the taxpayer advocate's office. Is was created in the 1996 Taxpayer Bill mm-hmm. of Rights, and this was a, supposed to be an independent organi- uh, department of the of the te- of the IRS that people can go to for help. So if they think the IRS is being unreasonable or not helping uh, resolve a problem, they then you contact the the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. I mean, the Taxpayer Advocates <laughs> Office. The head of the Taxpayer Ab- Advocates Office is Nino. Olson, and she says, you know, she's been trying to get this taxpayer bill of rights for some time, for many years. Um, she's, she, matter of fact, it was her top priority for the for her office. And she says, Congress has passed multiple pieces of legislation with the title "Taxpayer Bill of Rights." Olson said, however, taxpayer surveys conducted by my office have found that most taxpayers do not believe they have rights before the IRS, and even fewer can name their rights. I believe that the list of core taxpayer rights the IRS is announcing today will help taxpayers better understand their rights in dealing with the tax system. So what she's t- what what they're talking about is this this taxpayer bill of rights not really any anything new. No, she j- she's just articulating it. That's right. She's well. These are the rights you've always had, but let's put them let's write them down so people understand what they are, and then we're going to send you because when you have tech, when you have IRS problems, you'll find that they they do not uh, skimp on paper. They send you plenty of paper, and so now they're going to send you something else. So there's ten bill of, there's ten issues on the bill of rights. First is you have a right to be informed. You have a right to quality service. You have a right to pay no more than the correct amount of tax. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, I know. You have a right to challenge the IRS's position and be heard. They don't have to listen, but we can. That's right. You have, an, you have a right to appeal an IRS decision in an independent forum. You have a, a right to finality. You have a right to privacy. You have a right to confidentiality. You have a right to retain representation. This is a key one, right? So that's key. And, and I think on my three, uh, if you go to my my website, I have the three things you should never tell the IRS. One of those things is you you know you should never tell something that you don't know, and that, and you have a right to representation, so you can always stop them anywhere you are. Say, so, you know what? I think I need a lawyer, and I think I shouldn't answer your questions very much. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's you know, let me get a lawyer. So you have yep. a right to representation. You have a right to a fair and just tax system, including asset access to the taxpayer advocate service. So it's funny that the taxpayer advocate service would want to get that out that they want that. They, She's setting the bar <laughs> awful low. I think if this is her, this is well, I have to. This is her goal, though. I mean, to put that in, these are already there. I agree. It's a you know my my top goal is to have to write these down and send them to you. No new rules. Yeah. At least in 1996 when they changed with the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Wait, wait, wait. Let's finish the, uh, the how many, where, how that's m- it. That, that, that was so the, the last one was? The, the last one was the right to a fair and just tax system. Okay. Uh, now, six and seven were, 
One is confidentiality, right? Is that yeah, one, no, not so one, but it's listed as confidentiality. Yeah, yeah, confidentiality. Privacy. And the other one was privacy, which were broken last week when they sent those all that information over to the FBI. Where is our where is our our, uh, our taxpayer? Uh, well, I like the taxpayer bill right here because a lot of this I, I is people don't know it. You know why they don't know it is because the IRS doesn't, doesn't follow want you to, it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they followed it, then people wouldn't need to know it because they would follow it. If I could be informed, if I had a right to representation, all of this, if, you know, um, as he said, these are nothing new. These are things that you that have already been implemented. Well, actually, they came about in 1996. Uh, um, tr- um, That's right. Congress, in, the, in the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Who brought, an who act- brought the, the IRS to them to change. A lot of this, as we said today, a lot of the stuff that you're talking about doing for people w- couldn't have been done. Without that actual tire, taxpayer bill of rights mm-hmm. statute, which implemented actual new rights, this does not. There's nothing new here. There's nothing. You know. So if you think that the IRS was was oppressive or not listening to you, or nothing's changed, they're not going to change what they do. They're just telling you here. Here's what your rights are. We're going to put it. We're going to write it down and send it to you. So you know. So again, most people who come to see me. They're they're hitting a, a a a wall, Steve. If they need to talk to you, how would they get? So to if you? you're hitting a wall with the IRS and they're coming after you, you need help. You should call me. And my my telephone number is three one two six six four six six four nine. And then what about the website? The website is Chicago Tax Team dot com. You can send me a question. So if you have a question about the IRS, send me a question at questions at IRS. Radio.com. And we'll bring them on to the show. Uh, That's right. And we're and here every Sunday at 5 o'clock on AM 560, The Answer. And we're going to be here next week. And, and so, again, and if the you week have, after. That's and right. the week after. So if you have questions, you should call me. I think this taxpayer bill of rights was is good, but it's not enough. We're going to go into the history. We'll, we'll see you on the other side.